All right, hey guys, so I'm back with another video, and this time we are going to be looking at a uh, good base layout for the map Circuit Breaker. Now, I did this before a while ago on Fighting Spirit. This is before Remastered came out, if you want to check that out. Uh, that was a bit of a long video. I'm going to try to make it shorter, because it's not really necessary to be 20 minutes. Um, but, anyways, here we go. This is a Circuit Breaker. Look how cool this zoom out feature is. This makes this kind of video really really easy uh and helpful so let's just dive right into it um so the important thing as again with the fighting spirit video if you watched it is um is the our pylon rows our rows are going to tell us where we can put our gateways so once we have that initial pylon down we know where to put the next pylon and where our gateways are going to go so let's start at the top right i feel like this is a really great easy example because look at this uh, look at this row this little row of pylons contributes to this to all these gateways that's 10 gateways for one row which is really really good um, and our landmark is going to be the, to the left the bottom left portion of the nexus and it just continues downward like so so um, so yeah that, that's it I mean um, one thing to note, though, is that you can't just, like, I mean, when we start the game, there are things to consider. The first pylon is going to be powering not just our, our gateway, but also our cyber core. So wherever our first pylon goes, that's where our cyber core has to go within that within that uh, energy range. So if you were to place the uh, the pylon right here, which you might want to do because, uh, you know, the gateways are close, close to the ramp, that's going to uh, take away from your from your uh, your space your your uh, your gateway row because there's nowhere else to really place the uh, the cyber core unless I'm wrong and there is but uh, anyway that's just something something to uh, to consider so anyways um, again that's our first row our second row well, the second row I'm going to look at anyways is the one behind the Vespine this is really easy to do it's just directly to the left or on I guess like if this Vespine geyser wasn't here it would be on the uh, the left hole of the uh, volcano. So we just make a wall of pylons here so our dragoons do not go through the mineral line. And that's going to be the theme of every uh, of every um, gateway placement uh, is avoiding that. So yeah, this contributes to our thing here and we go one hex to the left of our gateway to finish off our row over here. Now, um, there is room for more gates potentially there, but it would be a little cramped, and I actually think it'd be okay just for tech or more pylons. But uh, feel free to experiment. Um, I feel like a good benchmark is like 16 to 18 gateways. You can you can even get up to 20, sometimes more than 20. But I wouldn't like you know kill yourself over it. 16 for a lot of you is something you've probably never done on one on one base because you I've watched some of you streamers and uh, your gateway placement could, could use some work right I don't know take the time take the time out to uh, to learn this because once you know where you're gonna place the pylons every game that's gonna like speed you up like you know dramatically just in general having a plan beforehand going into the game and the more detailed the plan becomes the like the better off you are than your opponent um, but let's I, dig I digress. So let's, uh, let's look at the next base over here. Oh, oh, this is the last row here, though. Um, it's right if we, uh, the tip of the pylon is on the edge of that mineral patch, if you want to use that as a uh, as landmark. All right, so let's move down to the bottom right. Oops, totally mis misclicked that. All right. Okay, um, let's see. So this one was a little bit different. There's not like a, a super easy landmark except for that one, which is awesome. Look at that, it's like meant to be. It's like a little square just asking for the pylon to be there. So you can do that, but again, uh, the cyber core being a consideration, I wouldn't put the pylon right there, I don't think. I would probably place my first pylon right here. But again, this is just me, and you can, and this is not like the end all be all. You can totally, you know, experiment with this, but you can take the basic formation principles here and, uh, and try out your own thing. But this is what I came up with. I feel like my first pylon that would probably go there, which is going to be um, one hex to the right of the geyser, and then two hexes up, and that's where the pylon would go. And then I can put my cyber core underneath it, not impeding my gateway wall or gateway row. So that's the first row. Again, this little landmark is probably the best one. And um, 
The next row that I'm going to do is uh, this one right here. It's really uh, the most obvious row. And this is just going to extend from the uh, bottom left of our nexus all the way down. We make this row of pylons so the dragoons do not go through the mineral patch. And um, so that is that row. The row after that is going to be uh, this row here. And this row is going to be easy to do because we just need to keep in mind that our pylon goes one hex to the left. So one hex to the left, that's all you need to know. And that's going to be our last row. And we have some space over here for tech, or pylons, or what have you. Moving on to the bottom left. The bottom left is a little, bo a little bit more of a hassle. And I think this might be the case with all bottom left bases for Protoss, which is because the um, our Dragoons pop to the left of our gateways. Or all units pop to the left of the gateways. Um, or at least they exit the door, right? Usually they exit the door like this. But I tested it and this is what happened. So without this wall, these Dragoons constantly go through here. And I, and I, and I tried a lot, of different, uh, a lot of different formations and that just was always a problem. So this wall is, uh, is necessary to stop that from happening. It's a little bit messy here, and I'll explain that in a bit. But let's um, let's go to the good part. The good part here is um, the start. The start of your uh, of your base creation is going to be great because because look at this. This row right here contributes to all of that. Oh my God, isn't that great? That's like so good. And uh, our landmarks. I could have put the pylon right here where the triangle is. I kind of feel like I I would want to do that could just because it's easier to. Uh, to memorize it, but at the very least, uh, we know that it's within that triangle or underneath that triangle. Also, again, as to the uh, we've, we've been seeing this a lot uh, to the left of our geyser is where uh, is where the pylon goes, where that's where that row happens. And oops, sorry, <clears throat> but yeah, there we go. Uh, easy, easy to find row. The next row is to the right of our geyser, also easy to see. It's just a bit of a hassle, given that uh, the Dragoons can really mess up. But um, if you just focus on the front gateways at first, this will last you for a while. This will last you up to about three bases, especially because you're you're teching. You're not always just making units. You are spending your money elsewhere. So these uh, um, not ten gateways are going to be lasting you a long time, and you're not going to even be making these gateways until much later in the game. And much later in the game means you'll be at a higher supply which means you'll be making a lot of pylons, which means you have all the time in the world to make this wall of pylons. So that's my game plan, at the very least. I think it's pretty good. Um, it's not as pretty as the other bases, but uh, it'll do. Also, if you're wondering uh, why this looks a little weird, um, <clears throat> so if we look over here, notice how we have these spaces. I explained this in the other video as well, but um, we need these spaces because the without it, it'll block our uh, our exit. Just like this gateway, for instance, would definitely be blocked. If we had pylons here and here, we made a gateway out of there, it would just say building exit is blocked and nothing would happen. So we need those those holes there. In the case of this, where we needed the wall because of the nonsense pathing through the uh, mineral patch, we needed a, um, to improvise. So I improvised by. Um, leaving a hex open there and kind of going a diagonal, well not diagonal, but like a off, a shifted formation on our gateways. That might, actually that might not even be necessary at all. Maybe, it, I don't know. I think it's okay though. I tested it and it works, so I'm going to go with it. it. I mean, it's kind of annoying me because that's not straight. But, um, I don't know. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe if I just like shifted this one down one, like, put it down there, put this one up there, maybe it would work the same. I'd have to try it. But this is fine though, the general idea of it. And finally, our uh, our last our last base, did, unless I already did this one, man, I can't remember. Um, but here we go. This one I like a lot. Oh, look how good this base is, man. This is probably my favorite base, actually. It's just so organized, and this, I should post this on Oddly Satisfying, but no one would get it. Um, but here we go. We got our mineral patch here, and the pylon just goes right, under, right underneath it. How simple could it be? How, how much more simple could it be? And um, and that's going to contribute to all of this. 
and uh, eventually this other gateway here once we put the pylon there. I put a pylon up here because I want to avoid the Dragoon uh, spawning over here. Instead he'll spawn up here. Because again, gate, uh, goons will spawn over here, but if that is blocked they're going to go behind. So we want that not to happen. So this reduces his walk by a little bit and it hopefully prevents him from walking all the way up there. So there we go. Easy peasy. Uh, the next row is going to be here, well I should say here, and it's really easy to see. Um, we, we Again, we make the wall here so dragoons don't go around, and um, since the, so like with, every time you have a pylon, you can build two gateways out from that, which is what you see here, and that's going to allow us to easily see where our next row is. We build the next pylon one to the right, or one hex to the right of that gateway, and that's going to be our next row, which honestly doesn't do a whole lot because, uh, well, there's not enough building space, but that's okay. We have room for more pylons, room for more tech, and it's going to allow us to build our gateways up here. So there you go, and we got plenty of room for tech. This is like, oh, this is like such a good base, man. I love this base. But, uh, and there we go, man. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. I'm going to probably do this for the other maps as well. Um, if at the very least it's helping me out, you know, I'm definitely going to come back to this for reference. So hope you enjoyed it. More videos on the way. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.